What's going on everybody? This is Darian with Darian's Creations. Today we are gonna create art. So as you can see right here, I have my 12.9 inch iPad Pro with the M1 processor. I'm gonna open up the Procreate app. These are some of the drawings that I have. Feel free to take a look. Tell me what you like. What would you like to see me draw in the comment section below? We're gonna open up Pinterest. And I like to open up Pinterest because it is full of just random photos and art. And I do a lot of portraits, so this is why you see a lot of recommendations for me over here. I've drawn this girl, I've drawn this girl before, and I actually drew this specific photo once before, or just kind of quick sketching it. I believe I did. Nope, wrong one. Where is it? Look at that. All right? That's kind of what I'm talking about. I was just having fun with it one time. So today we're going to open up a new document and we are going to just do random sketches of different things, people and things, right? I don't know what it is. This girl is being recommended quite a bit right now. That is a beautiful, whatever the hell that thing is. And let's go with, let's go with just, let's just type in portraits, portrait reference. So this is something I use a lot, and of course I type in portrait reference, and look what they show me, a whole bunch of females, All right, There's William Defoe. So this is why I draw a lot of females. First of all, I think they're prettier than dudes, a lot prettier. And the second thing is it's just what, this is what the, the algorithm or whatever gave me. So today I'm gonna be on my sketching line detail type of uh, sketch. I'm going to open that up a little bit while it's bigger, kind of get me looser, rougher, uh, things like that. My opacity in the 70s, 80s, there we go, 83, good number. That's the year I was born. So I don't know who this is, but I like to just kind of come in here and get a really rough sketch, right? It's not supposed to look just like her. Nope. I'm not doing a photorealism. I'm not doing anything like that. I'm just having fun with this. And I recommend most of you, if not all of you, have fun with your art, all right? And, oh damn, she's got a witch nose. And I do some very quick, like, visual measurements. I'm not doing any type of measurements where I'm holding my pen or stylus and doing any measurements like this, like you see a lot of people do. Nothing against it. It is highly recommended. You get used to doing that if you're going to take certain. If you're going to take your art to the next level and you want to actually, like, understand the distance and measurements on people, then I highly recommend you start to do measurements on people. Um, so we're just going to kind of come in here. And I'm just gonna do whatever I see. I'm not trying to draw this exact person like a photo reference, like, oh man, it needs to look just like her. I actually don't care that it looks like her. As a matter of fact, she's got a little bit of a butt chin. Um, come on. Dang, she's got a big old dude chin right now. Let's just say, that's that, and there goes that. For the ears, I like to just kind of come in here and do a big like oval, like that. If that is kind of the shape I'm seeing for the ear, then that's what I will go with. Um, let's just see. Now her eyes closed. So this is gonna be kind of weird. I don't like closed eyes, personally. But at the same time, you gotta learn how to draw them. So just have fun with it, right? And uh, just do whatever you feel you can see. Now, of course, her eye is not fully closed, but it's closed enough where I don't have a really good like reference of what it is. So I can either close it all the way or something like this. Let's go ahead and uh, Just kind of put in a whatever, right? A little grungy eyebrow um, with the little little baby hairs on the side of her stuff. Let's do that. 
And with this, let's go ahead and do that. Now I see her hair right here. It's just coming off. And it goes down the side of her face. And then kind of comes back around and wraps around her head. Um, now all of this would be in shadow. Now these are all just loose sketches. Now I would come back in here and get like detailed if I want to. Understanding the ear. That was something that really took me a long, long time to get into understanding how the helix and anti -he anti helix and all that other stuff. There's so many weird names for our anatomy. Absolutely nuts. Now her ear looks really weird to me, but. Let's go ahead and erase some of this stuff. Um, yeah, she's got this big swooping hair. Oops, I already messed that up. There we go. Um, if you don't know what I just did, um, let's say I went over here and then try to scale it and then move it back. Oh, never mind. I would have been fine. Oh, no, I wouldn't. Because had I actually stopped and hit the move tool again, like let's say I move this move it over here and then I drew something and then try to move it back, it's cut off. So you got to make sure you do that. So I just undid everything just now to make sure I didn't completely lose um, all of that. So yeah, I would have ended up messing myself up. I want to fornicate my process real good. Um, whoa. If you ever try any race and you end up drawing more, Go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And, uh, mm. ooh, see that clavicle come out. I don't want anything to do with that. Let's just see. Um, her eye could have been like done up a little bit more. Now for, for something like this, this is all I really want. I'm not wanting anything extra than just something like that. And so that's what I would just put down for that. I'm going to hit plus. I don't want to see that new layer. Oh, look, there's the same crap just sideways. Um, no. Let's draw something else. I have drawn this one before as well. Let's keep going. Let's try and draw. What's up with this? Okay, someone wrote, she's gorgeous. So let's draw her. And then, of course, Pinterest recommends people or, or things just like it. And clearly what they recommend right here are freckles. And that's fine. She does have a very round head, if I had to say so myself. And I'm not going to... Um, Loomis or or Riley method this person. I'm just gonna Darian method this person by just starting off with something like that and then coming to the bottom and just kind of putting in an angle for where I see the chin. Uh, her nose is definitely wider than the most part of her face, or I'm sorry, from the center of her face. So I like to put like a bulbous little oval, and then from there the wings and everything else from the nose. And, and some people will say, how can you start at the nose? I don't know, right? I have no clue. Sometimes I do and sometimes I don't. I, it depends on the actual, um, like what I'm drawing or what I'm just kind of quick sketching sometimes will determine where I need to start. Some, some features to me, the way my brain works, are more dominant 
where I feel like, see, I already know this is way too big on the inside of her face, way too big, but still big. How come I didn't get all of it? I might have to scale that some more. And also, when I come in here, I won't try and do the mouth that I see. I will kind of do the shape of the mouth I see and just kind of ask myself, does this even fit what I'm looking for? Do I have that much more room underneath where the chin would be at? Things like that. Um, she definitely has like a, uh, I like her skin tone for sure. I do. No, I'm not trying to draw this girl perfectly identical to the reference image. That's all it is to me is a reference image. Feel free to be an artist and add or take away things that you like or don't like from the person. Um, a lot of people will say that being a copy artist is, you know, is bad, but then they say, you shouldn't use references. It's like, well, that's where artistic ability even comes into play because you are understanding. I don't have to do exactly what I see on this individual. I can make them taller, fatter, darker, lighter, you know, and I can already tell like still again, this is um, the inside of her face for this reference is way too big for what I do. I do big eyes all the time and I have no reason, no clue why, like all the time. Let's say I wanted to do something like that and just leave it there. Boom. She's got the little squiggly little, you know. Right, boom. Are you guys capturing why I like to just do random quick sketches of people? Um, the folds on the inside of her eyes are very dominant. don't like that eye but she's keeping it um, let's see let's see You can see my brush is obviously a lot bigger um, for that. And then her teeth are cl clearly spaced out, something like this. And that's fine, right, to each his own. We all have things that make us pretty or attractive to the opposite sex or for some people, hell, the same sex or whatever you want to call it, right? And you know, what I may or may not like on somebody, someone else finds the complete opposite, right? Like, just like foods, right? When we eat foods, somebody will say, oh, this is the best. And you're like, that is the worst food in the world. And they're there that you can't convince them because it's on the top of their list, right? And so think of people no different. Some people are attracted to dark skin, some fairer skin, some natural hair, some fake hair, fake implants, whatever. 
it may be. And uh, that's just something that you got to deal with. Some people are going to like what you absolutely despise. So that's that. Just get over it. Have fun with your art. Have fun with whatever. If I wanted to add a ton of freckles on this person, I could. But I'm not even here to add freckles on this person. Let's go ahead and flip horizontal. Yep, that looks jacked up. Um, so let me... Let me... Let me see, is it this? Is it the eye? What is it? I can't feel it. Damn. I just undid it. Let me see. Am I feeling... Am I feeling that? That looks a little better to me. Sure. Sure. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Um... I used to love like just drawing people like all the time and, and then including their neck for some reason. <laughs> like I was a little neck monster for the longest time. And uh, yeah, let's just go in here and kind of add some extra little features, a little bit more of artistic uh, creativity. Let's go ahead and just kind of add that in. I'm not going to do the like the bag type shit under her eye like that. I'm just going to leave that right now. I'm not even going to get any inner ear, anything, and I'm not going to do the hair. So I'm going to just scale this thing up, down, whatever, put it here. Let's see. Let me just move it. Don't want to see those two. Let's do another one. I think that's the same girl on the right. I don't know. Let's draw an animal. Animal. What comes up when you type in animal? Ooh. I have drawn this owl the other day. I drew this dinosaur looking bird. I drew a lot of birds. I have drawn this uh, uh, frog before this creature, whatever this is. I have drawn that before. I haven't drawn very many cubs, puppies, or, or babies of anything. Let's see if I can draw this caracal. Now remember, this helps me go from human anatomy to animal, cat anatomy to bird anatomy to whatever. And it's really a, a uh, for me to see like can you still see the same thing and what am I looking at that is telling me that's what I'm seeing at that very moment right and I try to just be super loose with all of my drawings now and then touch them up as needed because once I, I, I actually get like too focused on something it stops being fun all right, you just come in here, do what you gotta do. This thing has some pretty big eyes. So looking at its nose in reference to its eyeball, the eye is actually kind of big. So like if I did an eye that big, and then kind of swooping motion if I was to say like this is where the other eye is, it's a little lower, but still just as big. Um, well, it should be just as big something like that now this is just me doing a quick little rough in and i'm not gonna lie this little thing is kind of cute and i don't really say that especially when it talks talks about cats that's kind of like against the code you know i'm not i'm not allowed to think cute. things are cute except girls and my kids and neither of my sons are cute anymore because they're freaking teenagers they're just boys. Um, let's see. Let me go ahead and rough in this. This big tuft of like soft hair. 
I think that's what makes like animals cute at the the baby stage or the infant stage or toddler stage of an animal is that they have a very soft like fur about them. They don't have the big ferocity uh, faces that their parents and elders have yet. And so they kind of, even when they like growl, snarl or, or whatever, they still kind of look like they're just faking it. Like, man, you don't know how dangerous you are. And uh, let's see, what else, what else, what else? This thing's got some big ears. Right, that's part of what makes a caracal a caracal, or any cat, for that matter. Um, they all have big ears, but they have these little tufts on top of their head, too. And uh, let's go ahead and just kind of scale that a little bit bigger. Something like that, right? Animals have big ears anyway, and then babies have bigger ears. So understanding where that ear fits uh, kind of right here in the middle of the eye if I want it to let's say wow do something like that and then understanding it's gonna stop right here let's just do that and I'm gonna kinda come in here now and do a little bit more just like land some more stuff so I know this um, I almost said this bird Good Lord, this baby kind of has these, uh, let me see, let me see, kind of has this look about it. It says, pet me, pick me up, you know, I'm cute, which is all true for now. When they get older, they'll just be a good looking cat, right? But for now, let's just go ahead and get this little guy. Have fun with your art, please. If you don't do anything, just have fun with it at least. Because if you don't have fun, you're gonna quit. You're gonna hit a wall. You're gonna hit like a, a stage where it's no longer fun. And then you're just gonna be like, what's the point? Why do something that's not fun? And that's understandable. But why did you start then? Then that would be my question too. Is like, why did you even start it? Oh, because it used to be fun. Okay, where did it stop being fun at? And if you can name, you can point point out when art stopped being fun for you. Like, change it. Damn, I don't know if I like those eyes. <laughs> now that I just zoomed out, oh, whatever. Right, this is a quick sketch. This isn't me um, trying to do too much. So I'm going to go ahead and get in here and do the cat thing. Right, they have these weird, silly looking noses, but I've come to like cat noses. I've come to like them quite a bit. Something about it just kind of, it's very interesting. Like dogs and other Canidae species, bear, raccoons, foxes, beavers, and all the other things like that. Nope, oh, actually I kind of need that. Don't need that. Don't need this. Don't need this. Or that. Okay, maybe like baby cats can be on drugs because that's what this thing looks like. It's got like super blacked out eyes. Like it's been, like, <laughs> like this cat was drinking all kinds of coffee. It's like, bro, what the flip? The heck is wrong with me? Like, you know, bro, it's rough out in these streets. <laughs> oh, goodness. Meow, dude. This is a girl and her cat. And let's do something different. See? See? I like, ooh, that's a beautiful horse. That owl looks really weird. 
I want to do what the flip let's do let's do I have drawn this uh, hyena before that looks like a cor it is a corgi I have a corgi that's why I'll, that's probably why it suggested me to get a corgi or to draw a corgi which I have drawn a corgi before because like I said I own one this is a quokka I believe um, that is the funniest looking that looks like just a happy animal it can't be a predator I hope it's not a predator because it doesn't even like look like a predator it looks like something that gets eaten by predators um, let me actually kind of start this over again and do like a little bit of a rough uh, triangle even though I know this isn't at all what I kind of intended on doing. I'm just going to go with it. Hopefully you guys are following along, seeing what I'm doing. I'm just really loosely not thinking too much about this. I mean, how do you draw something that's just like a box? I don't even know what their feet look like. Let's say it's something like that. <laughs> and then just a big, huge ear. Yeah, there it is. And then we're gonna get in here and do the super happy face, uh, starting with the bottom where it kind of does this little, matter of fact, I'm gonna do kind of a circle for the nose and then go down from the nose into this little point shape. And I'm just gonna draw a couple circles here for the nostrils. So we'll straight line down. Now it splits off and then it kind of just kind of comes up and flares out. Something like this. Whoa. Um, it's got the little mouth on the bottom. You can see the uh, lines on this thing. Whew, dang. Let's go ahead and lower this brush. I think I'm also having some issues with my line work because I'm, this brush is way too big for what I'm tr trying to do, I guess, even though it is a rough sketch. I'm not trying to like really draw this thing. I'm just having fun with whatever the heck type of animal this is. What would you guys like to see me draw? If you guys could actually pick something for me to draw, what would it be and why? Put that down in the comment section below, please. Please, please, please. All right, this would be fun. Oh, I think I see a little tooth right there. Um, 
And if I don't, it's got a tooth there now. All right, and then, hmm. So yeah, that's a quokka or whatever the hell this thing is called. I think it's called a quokka. You can even like Google or type in like smiling animal or some crap like that. I think this thing pops up like that. Don't ask me how I know about what this thing is. It's embarrassing to be honest with you, but yeah. So that's my uh, quokka. And then like, let's put some like wild hair on it, right? And if I want to, let me go ahead and just, uh, you gotta do it how people normally do it when they have glasses on. And the glasses are like way too big. They like sit all out the frame of their face or something like that. go back um, the entire nose is you know obviously darker I don't want to get too much into detail with this thing I'm just having fun with it but uh and then kind of darkening the nose a little bit more I don't really want it to I'll kind of come in here and add some Little highlights in certain areas around, like you know, where where this thing is actually like, you know, just doing its thing. So either way, that's a quokka. And let's just go ahead and merge these two down. So now they're just one image. Let's see where everybody's at. Everybody, let the quokka join. Uh, all right. So one thing I can do um, while I have all this open is if I just want to see this layer, I can just hold that and that, that'll go away or hold it. And that's the only thing I see and the rest are actually gone. So now that I have this, dang, that one looks even funnier, but that's just something I wanted to share with you. And I'm going to draw one more and kind of just call it for now and don't know what it's going to be. Uh, let's type in birds. All right, let's draw a bird. There's a toucan, there's a vulture, there's a leafy bird. What the heck? A golden pheasant? That looks like straight leaves. That bird looks like dried leaves. Um, there's a parrot. There's a macaw. Um, secretary bird and owl birds have some of the most vibrant colors probably more than insects to me let's see none of these are really capturing my attention to draw it real fast stay with me people don't leave just yet <laughs> this bird is like two circles Nope. Damn. Is this real? Is this a picture? No, it is not. I knew that wasn't real. I've never seen a bird that looked like that ever. Excuse me. Let's try Cardinals, Blue Jays, Robins, that thing, this thing. Good Lord. This thing. I actually did draw this already, so I'm gonna stop. I did draw this thing. It was interesting. 
That looks like a falcon. What kind? I don't know. A lot of people call every falcon a peregrine falcon. Let's see. Does it say? Uh, don't know. Let's draw this. I think I've even drawn this before, maybe once. Let's draw this thing. Uh, so it's a bird. And I'm gonna start off with like an oval, right? I don't have to start off with an oval, but I kind of like to just start off with this oval. And then from there, I don't know why I can kind of superimpose where I see this on here. And then from like, let's say the back, I will kind of go up in this swooping motion and then come back down like in, in this type of motion of where I think that would be. The beak would come like this. So the beak is gonna just come from the bottom. It is a little bit more flat than you would expect. So let's do that and then this coming up into this weird looking Whatever the heck is going on with this hair, fur, feathers. With this can't be a real bird. I mean, it can be. I just don't believe it. Let's just do a big circle right here, or or, or a circle right there, and then like an even bigger little hook around where the eye would be. Or let's move it. To about right here yeah let's just do it to there it's not accurate but hopefully it looks more like this bird than it looks like a shark so let's try something like this cool now I'm gonna get rid of these lines, these uh there goes that. Let's see what else, what else, what else? Not gonna do too much on this bird. bird is just holding masculine frame the whole time right so then I'm gonna come back in here I see the eye or at least like the the section around the eye come in here man I need to eat something my stomach is growling and then the, the eye actual eye is something like this all right, because everything else was just like the socket. And let's just kind of go in here. A little artist creativity. I kind of see stuff like this, kind of don't. And then around the edges of this thing, it just has all these bumps, right? And I'm not looking at I saw the bumps once, and now I'm just going with it. Add more bumps have less bumps, do whatever you want. Just understand this is something that kind of gives a creature its likeness. This is where people can say, oh, that looks like you were trying to draw said thing, right? And to some, it's fun. To some, it is not. Um, let's get in here and just say all of this. There's a little area like right around here is black so this area right here would be considered black now these are just like studies personal studies for me this isn't me trying to like make this bird perfectly it does help me like look back and say like yeah I kind of remember what I saw when I when I was doing this bird or something like that let's just go ahead and make this a little bit darker 
and keep making it darker and keep making it darker. And for now, I'm gonna go ahead and increase my brush size and go in there and just darken the eye since all eyes have some sort of darkness to it. And let's go ahead and just make it a little bit darker on the top as if it ha it's shaded from like its eye hood. Go back down, something like that. And this would be the white underneath going into the beak. It has just random green hairs, feathers. Let's go. Let's go, people. Let's see. So the back of this monkey, ooh. This is clearly like not a monkey, but like the back of this bird. Gotta add that highlight in there somehow. go back and this thing has all kinds of like tassels let's just say I'm doing that and each one of these little tassels are on this birds plumes top feathers top crest whatever you want to call it I'm just doing this little weird triangle shapes on the ends of what I see and I will never forget this bird for this very reason. If I ever see it again, I'll be like, yeah, I remember that thing. That's the bird with all the tassels on top of its head. And there are many birds that have, you know, really strong feathers or something like that. Um, so yeah. Yeah. So, don't know. So let's do that. Holding that down, I can see it. I will go ahead and move this over here. I'm going to go ahead and close that out. And this is my finished little sketch for now. So I have a couple different people, a side profile, a frontal view, um, a cat, a little kitten-ish, kind of like a cat, and a quokka, and some bird with tassels. And this is what I like to do when I have fun, uh, when I draw. It's nothing that I would say everyone needs to do, but it's just something that'll give you a better grasp at can you draw multiple things? Can you draw um, a person? Can you draw an animal that you probably don't interact with often? Can you draw a bird you've never seen before? And can you not only draw a cat, but can you draw a kitten? And this is a cracked out coracle kitten. Um, I don't know if, uh, <laughs> come on, bro. Come on, little dude. Like, I don't know what it is. I'm not really digging this coracle right now. I don't know why. Could be a number of reasons. I really think I messed the eyes up somehow. I really do. What say you? Did I do the eyes too big? Not big enough? It definitely like looks a lot different than I expected. Come on. 
I'm gonna go ahead and uh, see if I can give this thing some uh, kind of some blue. Ooh, ooh, some. Uh, oh, come on now, that's too small. Some uh, blue greenish uh, type eyes. Let's uh, let's do a little bit of that. And some yellow. Kind of mix it up a little bit. And then let's just add a big reflection type thing. Before I do that, let me get back into this and darken that up a little bit more. And kind of just give it a big little oof. There we go. So what did I do? Did I mess the cat up more? Did I mess him up more? Let's just do that. Now it's all one thing, right? So yeah, what was your favorite thing? Please let me know in the comment section below. Was it number one, number two, number three, number four, or number five? This is Darian with Darian's Creations. I hope this inspired you to start drawing some stuff. I will see you next time, and I'm out. Peace.